Bobby, are you excited that Mark is graduating from school? I can tell she's just overjoyed. Uh, I currently, I would just like to share with you that I'm very happy he's graduating. Finally. Yes. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Hallelujah. Finally. That's right. It's nip and tuck all the way. Was not. <laughs> Where's your sense of humor, Mark? I don't have one. Break down to the wire. <laughs> Mark Saxenmeyer may not have invented reality TV, but he sure knows how to use the medium to get people talking. 14 regional Emmys and one national Emmy later, he's still on the frontier of using TV to bring people together. One of Mr. Saxenmeyer's first memories is interviewing members of his family and neighbors with an invisible microphone. He was born near Asbury Park, New Jersey, raised in Minnesota, and lived in Des Plaines, Illinois. During his high school years, he was a foreign exchange student in Paraguay, South America. His search for the stories that touch people and their beliefs began during his years at UW-Madison. Mr. Saxenmeyer attended the university from 1984 to 1989 and graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in broadcast journalism. While at Madison, he was campus editor of the Daily Cardinal. From January to June of 1989, he had a full-time internship at WISC-TV in Madison. Repeated acts of racism on campus have set loose a chronic, pounding anger. <laughs> Though the protesters are now gone from outside the halls of Shalala's office, the chancellor is well aware that racial tensions on campus continue to simmer. After college, Mark Saxenmeyer moved to Sacramento, California and spent four years as a general assignment reporter at the ABC affiliate. The Fox Network in Chicago hired him in 1994. As a special assignment reporter, Mr. Saxenmeyer has gotten the inside story on topics that covered ground other journalists have feared to tread. Whether he's revealing what really goes on at a rave party or exposing celebrity stalkers, he delivers the stories that challenge our core beliefs. He may be best known, however, for producing, writing, and co-hosting the 2001 TV series, The Experiment in Black and White. Ten strangers, five black and five white, were sequestered inside a house for one week to confront their racial issues. His follow-up show, 2002's The Experiment, Gay and Straight, featured five gay and five straight people talking to each other and completing tasks. These revolutionary projects aim to bridge racial and sexuality divisions, not only in Chicago, but in the nation as a whole. The Emmy-winning experiment projects are currently being used as conflict resolution teaching tools in nearly 100 schools, universities, churches, and workplaces across the country. Mr. Saxenmeyer's long list of awards also includes a National Edward R. Murrow Award, six regional society of professional journalists awards and 10 regional associated press awards he says i like to put my stories in perspective giving them some meaning and having people understand my niche is special projects stories you won't see anywhere else stories that nobody wants to do has the guts to do or has the time to do fox has an image of being cutting edge we go over the top sometimes to get people thinking and talking Mark Saxenmeyer, we have a story for you. It's about a man who produces two highly visible and controversial TV series in the third largest market in the United States by his mid-30s. We know it's the kind of gutsy story you cover. Mark Saxenmeyer, please come forward to receive your 2004 Distinguished Young Alumni Award.